Have you ever been in a position where you are sure the bottom is in, but the price just keeps going against you? Hi traders, in today's video, I'm going to show you a combination of a few indicators and explain how they work. By the end of it, you'll have a complete reversal trading strategy that will help you time trend reversals like never before. It's not a secret that price always reacts to supply and demand areas. To help us find these areas, we'll be using an amazing tool called Order Blocks. A special thanks to Mark Middleton 2020 for creating it. This script analyzes candlestick patterns and draws order blocks in real time. It's very user-friendly and can be used on any market. For today's strategy, we will only be using the order blocks that this indicator draws and automatically removes in real time as price action unfolds. To determine the direction of momentum, we will combine it with the Wave Trend Oscillator by Epic Wasteland. The author of this oscillator suggests the following entry and exit rules. Entry, when a wave cross occurs below or within the bottom band. Exit, when a wave cross occurs above or within the top band. However, blindly buying or selling when the crossover appears while the oscillator is in overbought or oversold areas can often result in the price continuing to move against us. What I have found is that it is much better to enter a trade when the momentum is starting to weaken. Here's how it works. In this example, the wave trend moving averages are still crossing the oversold area, indicating that the momentum is still strong. In such cases, it is best to wait on the sidelines. However, observe another swing low where the price fails to reach the oversold area. This signals that the momentum is weakening. It also creates a divergence with the price, which is another powerful signal indicating that the price might potentially reverse from this point. This way, we put ourselves in a much safer position, as the primary focus in trading is to protect our assets. For this strategy, we will also stick to the default settings. To time our entries, we will incorporate the engulfing candles detector by Daviat. I have made changes to the candle colors to improve visibility. As you can see this indicator will generate many engulfing candles. However, when they appear at key support and resistance levels, they become a particularly powerful signal. Now, let's delve into the exact strategy rules and how we combine all these confluences created by our strategy indicators. Frequently, viewers of this channel ask about the best time frame for a particular strategy. I want to emphasize that this strategy works on any time frame, and it's up to you to decide which time frame you prefer to use. However, I cannot stress enough the importance of backtesting any strategy. What may yield a high win rate for a specific instrument might not and most likely won't work the same way for other instruments or time frames. We will now go through the strategy rules along with a replay. To simulate the same conditions and market view you would experience in real time, it's important to note that it's easy to analyze and judge past price action, but it's a different story when trading in real time. To enter a long position when the trend is about to reverse, we look for the wave trend indicator to hit the oversold area. On the next swing, we need to see the indicator failing to reach the oversold area, creating a divergence between the price and the oscillator. In this strategy, we do not use any indicator to detect divergence, because setting the indicator to a specific period might cause us to miss divergences that occur based on a different number of candles. It is highly recommended to understand this concept thoroughly. We specifically look for regular bullish divergence, which occurs when the price forms a lower low while the oscillator shows a higher low. Next, we search for a bullish engulfing candle to form at or above the green order block area. For risk management, we place our stop loss below the current low to limit potential losses to take profits. We target the previous swing high key resistance area where the price has previously reacted. As you can see, here the price reaches our target level. Please note that depending on the timeframes you trade, the beginning of a new trend on a smaller time frame may simply be a pullback on a higher time frame. However, this does not mean you cannot trade it. It might be the only opportunity you have during the day. And as long as all the strategy rules are met, you can enter the trade. It is sometimes a good practice to double check the higher time frame for potential areas where the price may struggle and reverse. Here are the rules for a potential short entry when the trend is about to reverse. Monitor the wave trend indicator and wait for it to reach the overbought area. On the next swing, observe if the indicator fails to reach the overbought area, creating a divergence between the price and the oscillator. Pay specific attention to regular bearish divergence, where the price forms a higher high while the oscillator shows a lower high. Additionally, wait for a bearish engulfing candle to appear either at or below the red order block area. Place a stop loss order above the current high. For profit taking, 
target the previous swing low key support area, which has previously caused price reactions. Scale out of the position gradually, or hold the entire position until the end based on personal preference to re-enter the trade when the trend unfolds. But you got out of the trade because the price reached your target or you got stopped out. Simply look for a price pullback to the supply area, a bearish wave trend crossover, and a bearish engulfing candle. Again, for the target profit, look for levels at which the price might react. As you can see, by combining the basics of the price action trading with key supply and demand areas with momentum, can make such powerful recipe for a successful reversal trading strategy. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with this strategy in the comments below. As always, please give a like if you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.